What's up, people? Welcome to the channel where we talk about music production, music licensing, and music business. If you love any of the previously mentioned, be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on my latest content every week. So today I want to give you guys a quick tutorial on how I save sessions and multiple sessions underneath one session. Um, so everything is organized and neat in, in one file, uh, which comes in handy, especially when you're collaborating with other producers and artists and, and engineers um, that may be handling your sessions. You can keep everything organized. So um, <clears throat> so say I have this this file here. I'll just play um, a little bit of it. So that's a snippet of the file that I have. Um, right now it's about a, a minute and 25 and you know, say I sent it to the client and it was like, can you double this? So now I pretty much want to double everything after this intro, um, but I want to keep this version in case they like the shorter version as well. Um, so what I would do is pretty much go to file, go to project alternatives, and then create new alternative. As you can see, I already have two different versions here, uh, but you create new alternative and just rename it. I'll name this one version three. And then hit save. And then always hit save again. And now that just created version three. So now if I go back to project alternatives, you'll see the three different versions and all of these versions are underneath this one together forever session file. Um, and then I can toggle between all of these versions like seamlessly. I just click one. I won't click it now because it'll pretty much just shut down uh, this recording audio. Uh, but if you just click on one, it'll switch back to um, the, the uh, whichever version you want, the full version or the shorter version. Um, so now that I've saved this, this third version, I can copy and paste and do whatever else I want to do edit wise to the file and then save it and it'll save under version three. And then the other versions go untouched. So no matter what you do to this session, um, those versions will still remain how you save those versions. So this is a really great way to just keep everything organized, to make edits. If you have an idea while you're working on the track, you can save it as a different version and always go back and, um, and edit, especially when working with clients and, and they want changes and you want to keep track of those changes because sometimes they'll I know working with music supervisors and, and publishers and, and artists, um, they'll actually like a previous version that you sent. And then, and then they ask you, you know, can you go back to that? And, you know, if if you're not keeping track of those revisions, you're like, uh, <laughs> give me some time <laughs> because, you know, you went back and you made hard changes and you can't go back and correct it. So this allows you to easily keep track of, of revisions, save it under one session and keep everything organized. Um, so that's what I use. That's a little tip for you guys. If you didn't know already, um, hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, please like, share and subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.